Finally, the video that so many of you have been waiting for. I leave the camp that I was in the last time I left you on a travel video, that beautiful camp up in the mountains, and I make it to Telluride. I know it's taken me forever, like two and a half weeks it took me to drive 150 miles to get to Telluride, but I had some awesome times along the way. I'll put those videos in the video description below. So today I take you to Telluride and we visit a waterfall. I hike to a beautiful waterfall. I have have a really good lunch right downtown with Sadie. We walk around and drive around and show you the site. So I think you're really gonna like it and some fun facts, of course, as usual when I visit these small towns. And also, make sure you watch all the way to the end. You should watch all the way to the end of all my videos. It really helps my channel. But today, I have an extra incentive for you to watch all the way to the end. I am giving away a Jackery Solar Generator Explorer 1500. It's the same one that I reviewed in a video about a week ago. They sent me the unit to uh, try out and use and give a review of, and I'm giving it away. I'm giving away the very one that I used. So stay tuned till the end to find out how you can be the lucky winner. I'm so excited. Oh, and I can hear the creek down below. A spring! Look at that! I saw it coming in. And so I emptied. I carry, I've i been carrying these since the desert and the water tasted horrible. And I'm glad I do now. Helps extend my water. Park is 
right in town. So it'd be nice to have a place to park and Sadie and I can just go walk because you know these small towns parking can be an issue. Uh, but I do want to go and explore the town a little bit and shoot some video for you guys and show you around. Big sign right as you come into the downtown area. No overnight parking in RVs or cars or vans anywhere. It, no residential neighborhoods, no public spaces, no parks. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this place is small like I thought it would be. gondolas. Can you see the gondolas up there? Gondolas are running. Wow. Ski town. They have a free parking lot. Wow. But it's packed. And I don't know where downtown is. This might be too crowded for me. <laughs> it's Monday. I thought, you know, it is gonna be less crowded today. I thought it might be bearable, we'll see. But, um, okay, I wanna find downtown right now. Yeah, there's some parking back here. Okay, there is parking. If I wanted to park here, I don't know where I am. Where's downtown? Let me go drive to, let me figure it out first. Well, and I do want to find the city park because uh, it's early Monday, so if I can get a camping spot. Here's a fun fact for you. Telluride was the first town in the entire world to have alternating current powder, power, which is AC power that we plug into a regular outlet. Thanks to the Ames power plant located just down the road which is I'm about to visit here in a minute. It was once called the City of Lights and it was the first city in the entire world to have an electric street light. That's pretty awesome. I visited the place that had the first street light in the world. Okay, so this is supposed to be where the campground is and all the reviews said it's pretty awesome because it's close to this sports park complex. So let's go check it out. Full. <laughs> it's full. Alrighty then. So I'm going to park. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> I believe this campground down here um, has hookups. Hook uh, hookups and non-hookup sites, but that's a moot point considering it is full. <laughs> you need to get rid of my garbage. Yeah, there are garbage cans here. I saw a place to park. Like so. many towns in the West, Telluride started as a mining town when white settlers came. But after all the mines closed, it actually became a ghost town for 20 years. The last person left in 1950, and it stayed mostly empty for the next 20 years until it was revitalized as a ski resort town. I'm already getting a little impatient. <laughs> Telling you, the uh, going into town, busy towns is, is a lot when you spend so much time alone in the wilderness. And, uh, so I'm hungry. I would like to get something to eat if I can find something. I want to get some postcards for patron insiders. They get surprise postcards um, from my travels. So I want to do that. And that's really all I want to do. Shoot a little bit. Okay, I've been driving up and down Main Street and um, decided to come back out here just to see where it goes. And it looks like there's trails out here to the waterfalls. This looks like the, the power plant, probably, that maybe powered the first light. So I'm gonna get out, go for a hike. Look at this beautiful hike. I wasn't prepared for something so rugged. 
I'm like, a mile? I can do a mile in jeans and city shoes. But it's all uphill. And look, it's like scrambling over rocks and stuff. <laughs> it's nice to get out and walk, though. Hey, over here, Sadie girl. Long before white settlers came here with the discovery of gold in Colorado, the area was home to the Native American Ute tribe who called this whole area along the San Miguel River home. They were able to thrive here because of tons of hunting of deer and elk. And because of its pristine natural beauty, the people of the Ute tribe felt that this place was sacred. And they referred to it as the Valley of the Hanging Waterfalls, aptly named. Come on, we'll go find you some water to swim in. Come on. Check it out. A really, really hard, all uphill, scrambly 1.2 mile hike. But check it out. Beautiful, isn't it? It's chilly! There's a breeze! here when I first got here they all just left so I'm gonna wait a minute for them to get down the trail the trail goes further up to uh, a, a lot further I can't remember how many miles but I think there's like a couple of waypoints like there's a oh probably the top of this waterfall I think and then I think you go to another waterfall but I'm only in jeans and my city shoes my city sneakers I didn't plan on a rough hike so I'm gonna head back down and it looks like the rain might be coming in. Hey, you made it! Telluride even attracted some of the most notorious outlaws of the Old West. So the success of the mining town encouraged Butch Cassidy to come to town so that he could rob the San Miguel National Bank in downtown Telluride in 1889. Legend has it that he made off with the entire mining payroll of more than $20,000. Okay, so find, trying to find uh, parking in Telluride is impossible, especially for an RMB. And it's really busy. Jeez. Alright, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten yet. Okay, I've literally been driving around for probably like a half hour trying to find a place to park and I give up. I give up. This is why I don't come to towns like this, you know. I mean I wanted to come here and see it and shoot it, you know, to show you. Hopefully you've seen enough. <laughs> I finally found a parking spot. It took me a minute to get into it. Weasel my way into it and I get out and there's a sign. Tell your ride Marshall parking only. Tow away. Like, are you kidding me? So I am really hungry. Anyway, I'm driving up ooh, no parking. Driving up Main Street. So there's these spots in the middle that say permit parking only. I don't know what that means. And tow away zone. I don't know what that means. All right, but I just need a place to ha hang out a minute and maybe order some food. Okay, so I just Googled it. So the permit parking in the middle of the road is for commercial. Basically, you know, the, the, the companies and services that have to service the businesses, they can get a permit and they can park there. I can't get away with it. No, sorry. They would tell me. 
which sucks. Okay, I finally found a spot to park a couple blocks off of Main Street in a more residential area. There was plenty of parking and it's just a couple blocks from the restaurant I wanted to go to. Hey, will you just hang out with me? Will you just settle please? Found a place for lunch right by uh, where I'm parked. Got a fried green tomato burger and some french fries and a nice table outside in the shade. Sadie doesn't do, do very well with all this activity around her. She wants to play. Oh, look, she will not eat french fries. She's the weirdest dog ever. Pretty good. Well, lunch was pretty good. So now I need to go find some postcards. I want to see if I can find a gift shop. Get some postcards. This looks interesting. Ethos. I love this town. Really crunchy granola. Kind of reminds me of uh, Tahoe a little bit. Oh my gosh. Free box. Oh, this is awesome. People can drop stuff off and pick stuff up if they need it. Also a big hiker town. I think the Continental Divide Trail goes through here. So, really cool little town. I'm enjoying my stay here, but I'm ready to mosey. I just noticed their uh, light posts have scarves, like homemade knitted crocheted scarves. Look. was that right you gonna go to tell you right now <laughs> i hope you do it's a gorgeous awesome little town even though it was a little crowded in the middle of summer so now let me tell you how you can enter to win the solar generator the jackery solar generator 1500 it's the same unit that i tried out for about a month and did a review on in a video i'll put that video in the in the description below so it is not completely brand new i unboxed it i used it for about a month so full disclosure just don't want any surprises 
is when you open it up and you're like, wait. So again, I barely used it. I used it enough to test it out so that I could do a fair video uh, review for you. So how are you gonna win this solar generator? Are you ready? This contest is happening quick because I need to get this stuff shipped out ASAP because I don't have room in my RV to be carrying all this stuff around. Jackery sent me another one to review and I'll be doing that soon. So I'm, I'm overloaded inside my RV. Here is how you can enter to win the solar generator. Jackery Solar Generator. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. So if you're not subscribed, you are going to be ineligible. So make sure, double check your subscriptions, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Number two, by entering, by doing the steps that I'm about to tell you, by entering to win, you agree to all the terms and conditions. I will be putting terms and conditions in the video description. So by the very act of entering, you are agreeing that you read those terms and conditions and that you agree to them, okay? That's very important. Number three, I'm sorry, this is only open to residents who have addresses in the United States. I can only ship this in the United States. I'm sorry for my international viewers. All right, so here is what you need to do if you wanna enter to win. Number one, you need to enter a comment on this video and this video only. You need to begin the comment with hashtag Jackery and then you need to follow that hashtag Jackery with 70 words or fewer. Has to be, if it's 71 words, it doesn't count. It has to be, I, I, I'm bound by rules on this. Uh, so you have, to, you have to follow the rules or I will have to disqualify you. So if it's 71 words, you're automatically disqualified. 70 words or fewer. Tell me why you wanna win this. What it will mean for you, how it will help your life. Whether you're living in a van, whether you're living in an RV, maybe you need it to run a CPAP, maybe you're off grid, maybe you're worried about rolling blackouts in your city and you have to have a backup power source. Whatever that is, tell me why you wanna win this, what it will do for you, how it will help you. And then the second part of that is I wanna know why should I pick you? This isn't gonna be random. This isn't going to be a random, uh, you know, chance. I'm actually going to read every comment that is left and I'm going to choose who I'm going to pick. So make it good and <laughs> make it succinct. 70 words or fewer. Uh, why you want to win it, what it'll do for you, and why, why should I pick you? Tell me why I should pick you. And I don't want to hear because I've been watching you since the beginning. I want to know... I mean, that's nice, but I want to know what it'll do for you or, or what about your circumstance sets you apart or, or I don't know, sets you, yeah, sets you apart, makes you different from the other probably hundreds of, of um, entries I'm going to get. Why should I pick you? Uh, will it, how will it, you know, like, how will it change your life? What will it do for you? Uh, have you been struggling or whatever, or you have health issues, whatever it is, tell me tell me what that is so that it'll help me decide who to pick, okay? All right, I think that's it. Oh, no, that isn't it. Okay, so here is how it's gonna work. You have two days, that's it, two days, 48 hours, a little over 48 hours to get your to, to get your response to me in the comment below. Don't email me, if you email me, you're disqualified. It needs to be in comments. Uh, so you have 48 hours, okay, that's it. This is gonna be a really quick turnaround because like I said, I need to get this stuff out of my RV. I need to get it shipped. So you have until Tuesday, September 6th, 2022 at midnight Pacific Standard Time. That's three Eastern time on the 7th, actually. Yeah, on the 7th, actually. Uh, you have until then, I will, I, at, at, at midnight Pacific Time, I'm gonna be cutting everybody off. I, you, I, I will not look at any comments, any entries left after that. So you must enter before midnight Tuesday, September 6, 2022, to be eligible to win. Wednesday, let's say at 5 o'clock Pacific time on Wednesday, that's the 7th of 2022, of September 2022, I'm going to do a video announcing the winner, okay? The winner then has 24 hours if you can get to me within an hour, that would be great, but 24 hours to get back to me. So that means you'll have to get back to me by 5 p.m. Thursday, the 8th, 
these dates are killing me, man, to in order to claim your prize. It has to be within 24 hours. If you do not get back to me within 24 hours, I'm gonna go to a backup winner. So that means if I don't hear from you, if I don't hear from the first winner by five o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Thursday, I will do another video on Thursday announcing another winner. That winner will then have 24 hours to get back to me, okay? So uh, let me run that down one more time. Number one, you must be subscribed to my channel. Number two, by entering, you are agreeing to the terms and conditions in the video description. You're agreeing that you've read them and that you agree to them. Number three, it must be shipped to a U.S. address. You don't have to live in the U.S., but you, I, I'm only shipping to the United States. Number four, enter a comment in this video, and this video only, starting with hashtag Jackery, and then in 70 words or fewer, tell me why you want to win this, how it will help you, how it will change your life, and why you think you should win it. Number five, tune in on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time to find out if you have won. If you are the winner, you will then have uh, 24 hours to get me your address or you automatically forfeit your, your prize and I will give it to a uh, the runner up. OK, I think that's pretty clear and good luck. I look forward to uh, giving this away. Another thing. Oh, here. One other thing. I will not ask you to pay for shipping. I am paying for shipping on this. So anybody who comments or or uh, leaves a comment or writes to you and says that you need to pay shipping, it's a scam. Don't listen to it. I'm paying all the shipping costs on this. Uh, the second thing is once I announce the winner, I will give you an email address to email me your information. I will not notify you any other way. The only way you will ever be notified of any winning prize from me is seeing it come out of my mouth in a video. I won't email you, I won't text you, I won't leave a comment saying, hey, you're the winner. I will do a video and you'll actually see and hear it come out of my mouth, okay? So I hope that's clear. Make sure you tune in because you don't want to miss out if if you're the winner. When I do the holiday giveaways, the I do the, and I'm going to do it again this year, by the way, the small business booster. Oh, uh, and you know, small businesses get to uh, give me uh, a product to give away, and, and in exchange, I promote their business for the holidays. I'm doing that again this year. Uh, and a lot of winners never claim their prizes. So make sure if you enter, tune in Wednesday night, okay? Because uh, you could this is a pretty good gift and you could lose it. Okay. All right. See you around. Good luck. Take care. Bye.